Hello, for today's video lecture, we're going to be talking about couples. So a couple is a set of equal and opposite, but not collinear forces. So here we've got a beam. Uh, I've got one force going up, one force going down. They're going to have the same magnitude, opposite directions, but they cannot line up. Uh, so here they're kind of off center from one another. So this is an example of a couple. So this pair of forces exerts no net force because of the equal and opposite directions, uh, but it will exert a moment. So because couples exert no net force on the body, they're also sometimes called pure moments. Uh, and these couples can either be represented as a set of forces or simply as the moment that these forces exert. So down here we've got a tire iron, um, so we've got two separate pieces, so we can imagine a couple as pushing down on one side while pulling up on the other, so equal and opposite but not collinear. Uh, and the net result of this, it's going to exert a moment on the lug nut on the car here. So I could represent it either way, I could represent it as the set of forces, or I could represent this as kind of the end result, which is the moment uh, being exerted on a system. So in addition to exerting no net force, couples also have another interesting characteristic in that they will exert the same moment about every point. So let's look at an example of this. So here we've got a simple couple. We've got 60 pounds uh, up and 60 pounds down. Uh, it's about two feet apart. So if I were to look at the net moment about point A, uh, so this force over here, 60 times one foot, so force times distance, and this is going to be a counterclockwise rotation, so it's positive, so 60 foot-pounds plus 60 pounds times one foot. This one's also a counter or a clockwise rotation, um, so these are both clockwise, uh, so I'm going to have a net negative 120 foot-pounds uh, of the moment about point A. If I were to look over here at point B, let's figure out that moment. So I have 60 pounds times four feet. So 60 times four is 240 pounds clockwise. Here I have 60 pounds times two feet. Uh, this one is cause a counterclockwise rotation now, uh, which is a positive moment. So the net result is negative 240 plus 120, or the same 120 foot pounds clockwise, or negative 120 foot pounds uh, for the moment. And if I find the mo, if I take any point, so A, B, if I were to label some point C over here, any point along this beam, I'm going to wind up with the same uh, moment, net moment, about any point. So, what is the moment of a couple? Uh, well, the moment of a couple is still going to. We're going to use the equation of force times distance, uh, but here we're going to kind of redefine what some of these things mean. So M is the moment exerted by the couple about any point. So the moment about A, the moment about B, the moment about uh, C, whatever point we want. F is the magnitude of each force. So they are going to have the same magnitude. We're just going to use the magnitude of one force. Uh, and D is the perpendicular distance between the two lines of action of the force vectors. Uh, so in this case, it's just this distance here. But we do want to be careful with that. So uh, we want to look out for when these forces are not kind of lining up with the beam. Uh, it's not going to be this 1.5 meters. It's going to be the distance, perpendicular distance, between the lines of action. So draw in your lines of action, uh, pay attention to that, and find the minimum distance between these two parallel lines, which is going to be perpendicular to either of the two lines of action. All right, that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.